worst fucking storyteller. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. Why am I doing this bit? I keep getting confused. I don't even remember what I was talking about. There's fluff everywhere. Okay. No. <laughs> How's it going, guys? And welcome back to my channel. So, today is going to be my very first episode of story time. And I'm going to be talking about my horrible experience with beauty school, but I wanted to make this video more personal. I have a blanket on and I'm eating ice cream. <clears throat> and this stuff is so good. Like, I literally bought this two days ago and it's almost gone, so... Whoops. Artist. 
it was not that great. Like, I felt like she was one of the students. Like, I don't know. She just didn't come off as professional to me at all. So we spend the next like four hours just doing this look on each other and I honestly just couldn't believe that this is what I was wasting so much money on. She was not, sorry, she, the teacher was not even walking around and watching us and like watching our hand movement and like seeing how we're doing techniques and different things like that. She was literally sitting at the front of the class on her phone for like four hours. And it was the most frustrating thing because students were asking her questions like, oh, like what brush would you use for this? And what brush would you use for this? And how would you do this? And her answers were the dumbest shit. We got kits that were basically like huge kits, but they barely had anything in it. It only had a set of brushes, like a few eyeshadow palettes and like a foundation palette and the rest of the stuff we had to go and buy ourselves. We only have those brushes to work with and the teacher would be like, oh, well, when I blended out her eyeshadow, I used a different blending brush that's not in your kit, but you can just use any brush in your kit. Bitch, why are you doing demonstrations of shit that we need to do when you're using products that and brushes that we don't have? Like, she would use a different, a completely different eyeshadow palette than we would have in our kit, and she'd be like, oh, go and do this look. How are we supposed to even create the same look if you're not even giving us the same supply? The closest thing that I got to a blending brush in my kit was like, this really hard dense like dome brush it wasn't you couldn't even blend shit out so like when i was doing eyeshadow on another girl it looked terrible because like nothing was blended it was so hard to blend everything out and i was like getting so depressed and so discouraged because i knew that my makeup skills were so much better than that and i was like ashamed when she was coming around to look at the work we had done i was like even though this girl isn't good at makeup and she has no right to be judging me, I'm embarrassed that this is the best I could do because just like the supplies I had were so awful. When we would finish a makeup look on each other, she would just walk around and she would basically just say, oh yeah, that looks nice. Like the colors here look nice. It's blended nice. The thing is like if you're in a school for beauty, like you should be expecting criticism. Like I wasn't expecting to go there and have the teacher say, oh my god, you're so good at makeup. Like, I wanted her to critique the shit out of my techniques. I didn't want her to be a fucking bitch to me, obviously, but I just wanted her to give me constructive criticism on how to get better. So this girl had done makeup on me, and it, like, it was not great. I took a picture of it. I'm gonna insert a picture of the look somewhere, and when the teacher came around, I was expecting her to just like drop the ball on this girl and just go over like everything she could have done better. And she was basically like, oh yeah, like I like your ideas, I like your concepts, like I like your technique, like the blending is great, like your lashes, the lashes you put on look great. And she just walked away. And I remember sitting there thinking like, oh my god, like if this teacher thinks that this makeup is good, then like, what the fuck am I doing here? I talked to the girls after class, and even the ones who weren't great at makeup, they were even agreeing with me. They were saying like, I don't even know how to do this, and she told me it was good. Like, they knew their work wasn't great, but she just kept saying like, oh, that's good. And she would never teach you on how to be better. So why were we paying so much money to stay at the same level that we were at? In order to pass the class, you had to write a five page written exam. It was so easy, like I couldn't even believe that we had, like we are literally wasting time writing this stupid paper. And then we had one hour to complete a full face of makeup. It was a very like glam makeup look. It was supposed to be like an evening look. I basically just said like, I cannot work with these brushes. Like I don't even have a proper blending brush. So I don't understand how I'm supposed to make this look good.
So she agreed to let us bring in like some of our own products and brushes, which made the final a lot easier. But we had still had about like four hours left of the class that she was supposed to teach us, but after we wrote the exam, she didn't have anything to say to us. Like she was basically just like, okay, well, you guys are all done, you can go home. I was literally paying like I swear like a hundred dollars per hour so for the last four hours you're just gonna let me go home and you're not gonna teach me anything before I left she had mentioned that it was gonna take her two weeks to mark these written exams it has been like three months since this program ended and I have not heard one thing from this girl and it is so annoying because I have emailed the school weekly being like, where's my certificate? Where's my certificate? Where's my exam mark? Da, da, da. I've, I literally call the office every other day and it does not take three months to mark five exams. I am harassing these people for my grades and no one is getting back to me. I got like nothing out of this experience. The only thing I gained from this experience was anger and that's so frustrating when you have your expectations set so high to do something and my expectations were beyond crush. I am not bashing the education system, I'm not bashing people going to school to learn different trades and everything like that, but people need to realize that literally anything in this world can be found on the internet and it seems like I'm being lazy but I am honestly just every day I learn a new technique from someone different I have learned everything that I know off of YouTube and off the internet and off different blog sites Jaclyn Hill has literally taught me almost every single technique I know and like it's just it sucks so much that I thought that in order to be a makeup artist, I needed to go to this expensive school and learn from the best and whatever, but honestly, the best way to get good at something is just to practice. I have heard from the some of the best makeup artists in the world that they didn't go to school for makeup. Everyone is self-taught nowadays. Like, you can teach yourself everything you need to know and you could save yourself so much time and money and hassle and I honestly, I feel like this story time video is sounding so over dramatic but this is, this was something that was so important to me and I got my hopes crushed and I was, like I would honestly come home from school every single day and I would just cry to my boyfriend because I just felt so disappointed and so devastated about what was going on and I don't want anyone else to feel like that. I recently received a job in the field of makeup just from watching YouTube videos. Because of that, I was able to teach myself makeup and teach myself new skills and new techniques and pick up on things that other people do and I... I'm going to be doing makeup on clients every single day just because I watched YouTube and I practice really hard. This doesn't sound, I don't know how to make this sound inspirational without me sounding like a couch potato. So at the end of the day, it's not about what you learn in school that lets you land a job, especially in this field. It really is about how bad you want it and your drive and your motivation and you being willing to practice like 24 7 like I honestly practice makeup until my face hurts like there are so many days where I can't even wear makeup because my face is physically hurting from applying so much makeup and practicing so hard the day before and like this job that I landed was just because of what I taught myself and what YouTube has taught me and what the internet has taught me and it's it's amazing that I went through all that trouble because I never thought that I could get a job without schooling. In the end, none of it helped me. What really helped me get a job was practicing nonstop and always having the drive to learn more and like watch more videos and read more blogs and do things that would really help me 
expand and grow as an artist and I honestly believe that if you want something bad enough you will get it and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you've had any bad school experiences or you have like any questions about my experience then please feel free to leave me a comment or my email is listed on my um, my about page thingy so I'm always checking my emails so if you want to ask me something like more personal about my school or anything you'd like then feel free to email me as well I guess I will see you guys in my next video bye